Hello everyone, this is Nigel Dent here and today we are taking a look at the dominant creature of the plant I talked about in the last video. I've been researching and monitoring on these creatures and their behaviours recently and thought it would be good to let you know. You know, you can never get too much information nowadays, so please sit back, relax and enjoy today's video and if you do so, make sure to leave like and subscribe as it would be a great help to me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the topic then. So, this type of creature, they call themselves humans or homo sapiens in what they classify as a species. They look like this. Of course, they normally wear materials to protect their body especially the private parts since they see exposing it as embarrassing and awkward. Anyways, there are currently 7,795,258,200 humans in this plant at the time of writing the script. And these humans are social creatures and live in clusters called settlements. These settlements can be small with less than 20 humans living there or humongous with millions of inhabitants and radius of a small asteroid. Combine these settlements together and it forms a country where humans cooperate together and make systems to effectively control production, trade and other needs of humans. They are controlled by a party called the government. On this planet, there are currently 195 official recognised countries and a few that are not officially recognised. Now, human civilization is a low level civilization. It ranks about 0.7 on the Kardashian scale created by humans themselves. Our civilization is about 1.72 on the Kardashian scale as a reference. They are currently using fossil fuels as the main source of power, with renewable energy increasing slowly over time. Of course, the use of hydrocarbons has had a great impact on the plant's environment and it is not very efficient either. However, from what I see, humans are researching on nuclear fusion technology which will enable them to step up as a type 1 civilization. Humans have advanced to the age of artificial intelligence. They create computers with small semiconductor controllers containing information called binary digits or bits to be short. Computers utilize bits to calculate and communicate. Speaking of communication, humans currently use internet to communicate wirelessly. A lot of information, communication and entertainment were accessed via the internet. Now despite being a low level civilization, the human civilization has fabulous visual arts, literatures and musics. It might be because humans are more sensitive and more emotional than most creatures allowing them to create stunning art pieces and writings. Some pieces such as Mona Lisa, The Starry Night, along the river during the Qing festival, The Screen, are among the most famous artworks of humankind. Classical music such as Beethoven's 9th and 5th Symphony, Vivaldi's Four Seasons and Mozart's Serenade No. 13 for strings in G major are all masterpieces. Humans have unique economic systems that they use to trade for goods. Currently, they use currencies made of wood pulp and simulated currencies on the internet. There are simulations of real-world trades using rare materials. On this plant's instance, the 79th element they call gold which is decently rare that is actually valuable, but not that rare that is not obtainable in quantities. In the old days, humans traded using actual blocks of gold, silver and other decently valuable goods such as bronze, seashells and crops. All in all, humans are an interesting species. Their styles of living, their art and their opinions on science, politics and society are all somewhat worth studying. But sadly, these steep topics will be safe for later as we are running out of time. Hope you have enjoyed and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.